This example shows a map display of a motorbike test ride, along with a 2D axis system plot of the GPS coordinates and a 2D axis system plot of the bike speed and the altitude. Toward the end of the video, the playback is paused, and then the user moves the cursor along the 2D axis system plotted altitude signal, demonstrating how the other synchronized view sheet areas change in response to that action. The datum view area supports a display type of map and the capability to overlay GPS coordinate data on the map. The two types of maps supported by datum are OpenStreetMap and a user-defined map server. OpenStreetMap data is free of licensing costs. The tutorial that follows will build the map as shown. Activate the Navigator panel and then clear the data portal with the menu options File, New. Use the Navigator menu commands File, Open to load the datum example file austindrive.tdm. Activate the View panel and clear it by using the menu commands File, New. Choose the regular worksheet partitions group bar and then the option Two Areas. Right click in the View Sheet upper area and select the option Display Type Map from the pop up menu that appears. Right click on the map and choose the Settings menu. Configure the mapped dialog exactly as shown. This will require you to drag and drop four channels from the channel group GPS tracks in the data portal to the map dialog table. Click on the view toolbar cursor parameters. Configure the cursor parameters dialog as shown. Most of the defaults should be fine. Just make sure to assign a play speed of 15 to the play tab. Click on the tabs synchronization, number, and colors, and confirm the settings for each are configured as shown. Activate the view toolbar crosshair cursor and the free cursor so that the play speed set in the cursor parameters dialog works properly. Click the Play button in the toolbar to confirm the map is configured properly. Click the Pause button to pause the play. In the Data Portal, select the Channel, Timestamp, and then while holding the Control key, select the Channel Satellites and Elevation. Drag and drop them into the View Sheet lower area and choose the option 2D Axis System. Change the 2D Axis System y-axis toolbar option to end systems linear. Drag the free cursor in the view sheet lower area 2D axis system from left to right and confirm that the marker in the upper area on the map moves in response. Click the view toolbar play button. Note in the video that the track goes off the road at one point, just before the number of satellites in the data drops, 